Hi, this is Robin Bremer. I should say good afternoon. I'm out here on my porch on this beautiful summer day. Thank God it's not too hot. And today I want to share with you the value and the importance of that community. First of all, um, as a Christian, you should be involved in your community in a couple of different ways. One is you should try to get a church, find, find a church that's close to you. Uh, because the closer it is to you, the more the people around you will become your community or your sphere of uh, influence. And one of the other things is if you can find a church that has uh, fellowship, home fellowship groups, that's really helpful because when you are involved in your community or you have home fellowship groups, what ends up happening is you, the people in the, in the home fellowship groups, they end up having... Um, commitments to each other, family relationships and ties to each other so that it's not like you go to church and you sit on a pew and you do your own thing, your own pew that you get mad if anybody else sits there. But it's it's more than just going to church twice a week and seeing each other twice a week. You're involved in each other's lives. So you should be involved in the community through home fellowships or having your own Bible study. And I have uh, Bible study courses that you can use that will take you into walking in the supernatural things of God um, and uh, also being involved in community in other ways uh, like having uh, different fundraisers or different activities that the community does uh, you should make your presence known you should be involved in it and one way that I like to be involved in the community that I believe every Christian should be involved is whenever I go to Walmart my cue is if somebody says to me something about their pain or some kind of problem or trouble they're going through, to me, that's my ticket to pray for them. So it's my Walmart, so I offer to pray for them, and God grows out legs. When one leg's shorter than the other, it's like a chiropractor, he, and, and that heals different parts of your body. But I lay hands on them, and I pray for them, and they get healed right there in Walmart. And that is so exciting. And that's another way that you can be involved in your community and in your setting. But the, you should have a commitment to your community in some way because it's your sphere of influence. It's the people that you see about and around town. And I think seriously that it's one of the greatest things missing in Christianity today is our involvement in the local community. I don't mean being out there and being a do-goody and you know picking up trash I mean that's great and fun too but I mean involved in people's lives and uh, and being responsive to their needs so my name is Robin Bremer and I just want to share that with you uh, check out my website robinbremer.net and I hope that this helps you uh, make family ties to other Christians in your community